<sighs> Strange how although I'm dead, I still find a way to be tired and it's just so boring now. No one to fight, no one to criticize on their actions. Uh, I wonder how Death is doing, him and his siblings. Hmm. Even that strife. Ugh. Hmm. Hmm. What's that? As yes, Crowfire friends are fighting, he's a go unconscious. And like, ooh. Hmm. Huh. Well, I wonder what happened there. Oh, well, that's none of my business. He's a good waking up screaming, startling Crowfather, but as he just starts floating away, he's like, Who are you? I'm looking around like, uh, are you talking to me? Yes. You can see me. Uh, uh yeah. How? Uh, well, what do you mean? You're right there. Oh, yeah, yeah I know I'm here. <gasps> what I mean is, how can you see me? I'm dead. What? Yeah, I'm dead. I'm what you would call an apparition. What? <sighs> a poltergeist. Huh? A ghost! Uh, ghosts are real? Yes, ghosts are real. How old are you, boy? A bit, uh, Fourteen. And you know nothing about... You have no idea about the other names of ghosts. Souls unable to pass on. I mean, granted, I wasn't here before, but things happened. But still. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what's your name? I'm known as Crowfather. Wait, you're part crow? No. Boy, no, no, I'm not part crow. If anything, let's see. Okay. I am also known for being a keeper of secrets. Oh. Okay. Yep. Nice meeting you. Bye. Wait. Mm -hmm. You are the first mortal to actually be able to see me, which means you may have quite a bit of potential. Hmm. So, so what was your name? Well, you didn't give it to me. Izuki Midoriya. Hmm. All right, Izuki Midoriya, if you don't mind, tell me what happened to you. How did you get all bruised up and whatnot? I... Yes, I... Fell. Really? Seeing the burn marks on him is... Let me tell you, be, uh, uh, fact check your little story. Is there a whole murder of crows just show up? And Izuku was, are you sure not part, part crow? Silence, boy. Seeing through their eyes what has happened, in which, yes, is Bakugo and his goons jumping Izuku. For still want to be a hero despite Bongo's very inspiring 
threat. So, yeah, that still happens. Boy. You. You have, uh. I don't know what to call that, but you have garnered some very. Interesting attention. Hmm. What's that boy's name? The spiky haired one. Kachan. That's quite a peculiar name. Oh no, not it's not his name name. It's uh, it's his nickname I gave him. He's my friend. Friend. Uh huh. That's your friend. You call that boy a friend? Y yeah. Listen, son. I usually hate company. I don't really have friends, but I do know what a friend is, and that my boy is not a friend. Is a oppressor, a villain, a wait, 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 no, 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 he's not a villain. Are you sure? Y yes. Hey, you did not sound too confident, now, did you? I, uh, I mean, yes, he has his anger issues. <laughs> anger issues, you say? Oh, no. He's a psychopath. And he did this to you. Well, he and his friends did this to you. Just because you want to be a hero? And that you are hmm, quirkless. Y yes. Hmm. Well, maybe I should bone up on the knowledge of this world. But, hmm. Not as easy to do without a corporeal body. What? Oh yes, remember, I am a ghost, so having a body would be very helpful, you know. Right. Well, well bye. No, wait, 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 wait a moment. Yeah. Tell you what. If you can help me regain my corporeal form, I would be more than happy to help you become a hero. What? Yes. It's quite simple, really. Uh, wait, so you can give me a quirk? No! I can give you something better. Knowledge. Magic. Uh, I would give you a crow or two, but you wouldn't. I see you being more wanting to be your own person. Hmm. Well, either way, if you would just uh, acquire these items, and that we it. I don't know what half of this stuff is. <sighs> right, some of that stuff may be beyond your reach in this realm. Pity. In that case, I guess if we could find one of the Maker's Automatons, that should suffice. For the time being, at least. What? What's a maker? Oh, you think of them as dwarves, but ancient. Uh, really? Wait, dwarves are real? Uh, kind of. I would say the makers are more uh, along the lines of they inspired the legend of dwarves. 
Oh. That's interesting. Indeed. So. If anything, let's see if I can remember. Ah! I remember exactly where one is, and it's actually quite nearby. Uh, I say buried over towards that mountain. It should be uh, still operational. Do you expect me to walk there? Yeah. Well, you don't have to. I could always use my crows to help you. But as far as digging, yes, you will have to do that yourself. Nobody, so I can't really help. And as far as my crows, though they do have several incredible uses, I don't think they're fit for such labor. Oh, okay. In which, yes, Izuku was teleported to the base of the mountain, God War Odin style, and he is beyond shocked. Pretty much like, I did not know crows can do this. Uh, yeah. Well, technically they can't, but if they're bonded to me, yes, they can. Very much so. You're amazing. I know. I know. <laughs> but flattery will get you nowhere with me. Of course, you can still try and uh, shower me in a couple of minutes, but I just know it won't work. Don't let it deter you from trying, though. Okay. Did, uh, you, you got a shovel? <sighs> Humans and their tools. Just use your bare hands. There is training as well. What? Yes. You're serious? Oh, very serious. Of course. Yeah, Zuku starts digging in which yeah, is a lot deeper than Crowfather anticipated. To the point where, yeah, it takes Izuku at least, you say, 15 days. To at least strike pay dirt. Luckily, that's a, that's all Crowfire really needs to actually inhabit the automaton. Which upon as soon as he does, Izu is shocked that such a thing was there. But Crowfire is also like, mm, uh, I guess this will have to do for now. Wish I could have found one in better shape. But eh, this will this will work until we can get to uh, the other realms to acquire the recipes to my body. Wait, what other realms? Oh yes, that's right. Uh, young Medora, you have so much to learn. Yeah. Well. First things first, you need to build up your strength. Luckily, that training that which you have done has aided you. You mean digging? Yes, of course. There are me methods, though they may seem more orthodox. They are still methods that prove to have very wonderful results. So, at least now will this. Tomaton serving as my temporary body, I do have more access to my magic prowess. Uh, though, not to my full on prime, not yet at least. But he can't really. <sighs> How are you tired when you are a robot? What? Robot? What a crass term. Automaton. And technically, I am not the automaton itself. I am just using it as a shell, you could say. My soul is still in here. 
Okay, so how can a soul be tired? I don't know. Why do you ask so many questions? Uh, just curious. Ah, uh, yes. Curiosity. I remember that in my youth. Part of me still has lingering curiosities. I do still wish to know everything, even the most forbidden of knowledge. However, I will have to make do with what I know now. Anyway, let's continue building up your strength. Let's see, what were those exercises called? Um, Weightlifting, like no, uh, push ups and uh, squats, I believe, and also heavy lifting. I think those would be quite helpful when it comes to our, our goal here. Uh, what? Well, you have to build a muscle. Okay. Hey, yes, Izuku's training mainly consists of him getting swole as hell. And it pretty much makes All Might's training regimen look like, very really honest, looks like a cakewalk. Because there is no thing but beach, they are using nature, in which Izuku not only has to lift things that he does not know the base weight of, let alone having to battle against the crowfire in this automaton and worry about the wildlife wanting to use him as a chew toy or a snack. He does end up coming home with a bunch of bruises, scrapes, cuts, burns, and not from Bakugo. <laughs> Go figure. Iko does ask him why is this happening. All he can say is it's training. Because if anything, he's if he says a uh, old man inhabiting a giant robot or automaton was training him, it would look more like he should be admitted to the loony bin. Despite how, you know, understanding Inko has seemed. But, you know, he doesn't want to worry his mom. As, yes, you could say... <laughs> let's say seven months went by and Izuku's training has only been physical enhancements. In which, due to Kofar having more access to his magic... He has actually aided Izuku when it comes to his buffs. When it comes to his strength and speed, as well as resistance and endurance, not only does he have to really have rest days, but yeah, you can just say a little magic never hurt anyone. As far as teaching Izuku actual magic, no. Using magic to heal him as well as enhance him to the part where, yeah, it's literally a part of him and introducing his body to something he's. introducing his body to magic for the first time is having some very interesting results when it comes to Izuku's training. Being healed by magic? Great! Realizing that his muscle fibers are not only getting torn, but also mended at an accelerated rate, making it even easier for him to get back to training, his fatigue being lessened and lessened to the point where I don't think I need to sleep at all, in his opinion. Yeah, it's safe to say that Izuku is on his way to becoming a very you know, force of nature. Much to the point where he actually dents the automaton that Crowfather is inhabiting. 
which, to be completely honest, shocks him. Though yes, Izuku has been able to, by now to punch holes in solid stone. This is a maker's automaton. When Crowfather was being invaded, he used practically a cane to shatter, bend, and decimate an army of golems with the help of his, you know, crows and what, as well as, you know, death and his other magical capabilities. But still, he used physical strength as well. Crowfather was not a weakling, despite what the video game made it seem. Most likely, he held back because he really just wanted to die. And stop the voices. So, yes. Him seeing that Izuku was able to actually dent one of these behemoths just shows how far he's come. Izuku, of course, she doesn't see it as, as impressive as destroying stone, but Crowfather makes sure he's like, no, no, you, you did very good. If anything, you... This amount of strength is very, very impressive. Especially for a human. You think I might be a, at least a bit more as strong as All Might? All Might. Oh, right, right, him. <sighs> Actually, you're closer to him than you think. What? From my calculations on the videos of which you've shown me, All Might is capable of destroying this mountain. R what, really? Oh, yes. It seems as though he actually holds back quite a bit just so he doesn't, you know, kill anyone. But, yes, I say he could destroy his mountain with his full strength. You are getting pretty close to his level. Though I do think he could possibly decimate this whole Tom Tom with his full strength. Uh, if only use that as prime. Definitely he probably would have. But as far as you mm, I say you're about mm. Ah yes, yes, I say you're around twenty five percent of his full power. What? Now, don't get discouraged. That's still quite impressive. In fact, you should work on your after images. Oh, again? Oh, yes. Being able to disorient an enemy as well as confuse seeing the fact that, yeah, I'm right here, no, I'm right here, it can be very helpful in battle. Especially against some of these more tricky villains. Okay. See if you can make not only five after images, but make it seem as though they're the individual person. What? Oh, I would love to show you, but right now this body is quite restricting. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Nope, nope. I'm sorry I used such a tone, but still, you must put your faith in me. I'm not just doing this for my sake, but because I gave me a new body, I'm also doing it for yours. Okay. Good. As he's going to only make two out of the whole amount of other images look like they're actually their separate person. Which Izuku is disappointing in himself which he does start to 
pretty much tear himself down. Crowfall is like, oh my god, who, who did this to you? What? Have more confidence in yourself. I just told you you're 25% as strong as the number one hero in Japan. But still, you... You just cut yourself down. You're never going to be able to get something down on the first try. That's why you practice. Practice is what makes perfect. Though, yes, talent does help. That is not mean that hard work can be discounted. Uh, uh, thank you. No problem. Uh, now, <clears throat> you don't mind? Let's get back to work. And yes, this is going around the whole almost finishing the 10 months training he has one more day left before the entrance exam in which Izuku he is pretty he damn huh if anything he looks better than he looks a lot more fit and agile as well as more confidence in himself compared to the end of All Might's training and this is about time where Crowbar does one like Okay, now it's time. What? More after images or trying to uh, spar with you or no, 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 no. It's time for you to summon an animal at which you would gather knowledge. Use as allies. Really? Like what? Well, you can't use crows, though that's my domain. Hmm. Ah, I know precisely what to use. Let's see, I just need uh, this, this. Uh, ah, right here. Here. Hold this. A, a crow? <laughs> no, 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 no. As you can see, this bird is actually bigger, slightly, but still bigger than a crow. This is a raven. Really? Ah, yes. Ravens are quite intelligent, just like crows. Mm, well, ravens do have the added benefit of being able to talk. What? Calm down, calm down. So, so what? what? What do I do now? Hmm. Use that binding spell I taught you. What do you mean? Try to bind your and its soul. That's, this one just recently passed. So its soul is still trying to, you know, leave it, but if you can, you know, find it towards your soul, it shall be your companion forever. And with more practice, you'll be able to increase your, you know, arsenal or your companions. So what, I'd be like, or Raven Father? You can be more original than that, can't you? Wait. What about Raven King? Oh. Huh. Someone's been delving into Norse mythology, have they? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <laughs> a little. Very well. Yes, Raven King Odin. I hope you don't plan on plucking out your eye, though. No, ah! I. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Young Midori. I am just kidding. 
But, if anything, you will have to lessen your abilities. What do you mean? Like I said before, you were at 25% of all might, correct? Y yeah. Well, it would help to make it seem like you're not that strong. Well, why? You get like this. People usually fear that they something they don't understand, or they tend to not trust anyone too powerful. You have too much power? They'll rely on you to do things for them, but deep down they resent you, fear you, which can be very dangerous. You have too little power, which they disrespect you, bully you, you know, like that Bakugo boy. Oh. But just the right amount of power, you could at the very least mm, prove that you can carry your own weight, that you won't be a burden, that you can, you know, Stand with your fellow heroes as equals. Only truly use your power, your full might. We have no choice. Oh, I never, never thought of it like that. Hmm. Yes, yeah. there's always a price for power. There's a price for being the strongest. The one at the top. And believe me, you can get quite lonely at the top. I understand. Thanks, uh, Crowfather. You're quite welcome. <sighs> well, get some rest. We're going to eat it. Oh, right, uh, uh, thank you again, uh, and thanks for the raven? Yes. As Yezuku, upon going home, and go, have you see that, oh, you're home early, well, what's the occasion? I need as much rest and relaxation as I can. Uh, Izuku. We're not allowed to have pets in here. Huh? Wait, what? Oh. Remembering that the raven was right on his shoulder? Um. He's not really a pet. He's more like a companion. A friend. Well. Either way. Your friend. Uh, sorry. Can't stay here. You're going to have to sending him somewhere else or maybe the balcony or something because we don't want to get in trouble with the landlord oh right uh okay uh okay what am I supposed to as then yes this raven just vanishes in the shadow of Izuku Inko looking what just happened? Uh, I don't know, but I just thought of a name for him. How are you like Shadow? It's just flying out of his shadow and he's... I, I guess you like the name. Inko's freaking out like, how is this possible? Wait, do you have a quirk or... Him just realizing, oh, wait, no, I can't let mom know about my capabilities yet. Um, no, I guess the raven does. 
Raven? Yeah. Are you sure it's not a crow? Oh no, uh, crows are actually smaller than ravens. Oh. Okay. And actually, they're quite loyal too. How would you know? Oh, he, he told me. The raven. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, strange. I didn't know you could talk to birds. I, I, no, no, no. Ravens can communicate. What? They, they can talk too. Huh? You, you, you know what? As long as you're happy, I'm happy. Um. Uh, I don't know what else to say here, but um. <clears throat> either way, you say you need some rest. Uh, I'll call you when dinner's ready. Izuku, a bear, as well as worries like, oh man, I. I must seem like I'm crazy to her now. Can't believe I did that. <sighs> oh, uh, all that matters is I have a big day tomorrow, and I don't plan on failing. Now, how about we get to the interest exam, in which, because of the practical. Izuku is, yeah, a bit nervous, all things there, but seeing that, oh wait, you pretty much just destroy robots? <laughs> it's gonna be a breeze for me! And, what, and yeah, it, could, it really is. Izuku is, around this time, 30% of All Might, Prime All Might's power. So he can destroy some weak ass robots greasily. To the point where everyone's thinking, what kind of quirk does this guy have to give him such a power boost? You know, all my just watching up at the observation room is. This kid has some potential. He. Huh. I wonder how strong he really is. Uh, yeah, in this continuity, there was no such an incident. All Might didn't meet Deku. Deku does not know about All Might's weakened state. All that is literally up in the air. No, no, he does not know a thing about each other. So as far as they know, Izuku has a strong ass quirk. And Izuku sees All Might as just as strong as his prime self. Though he has gotten more suspicious given the fact that Crowfather did bring up a few tidbits about All Might. At least foreshadowing that, yay, All Might might not be as strong as he once was. But he's a good still being a fanboy, of course he yeah, he just discounts that as hearsay. He needs proof. It's not like he doesn't completely really trust Crow Father, it's just the fact that uh, you can't be right all the time, right? <laughs> oh how wrong you are. As when it comes to the zero pointer, you can imagine, Izuku, though he wants to fight it, just to test himself, he's, I guess, not worth any points. There's no real point at all to attack it. Yeah. This guy's getting kind of tired. As then, yes, he does hear a scream, he does hear a rubble. And he goes into hero mode to the point where he accidentally 
summons Shadow, and Shadow pierces the Zero Pointer repeatedly. Oh yes, think of it as pretty much a homing missile is what Shadow is. Gaining more and more speed, momentum, and most importantly, force! Giving Zuko more than enough time to say the participant and the test is over. Everyone is shocked at this, wondering wait, where did this bird come from and how did he control it? Izuku not really wanted to spill that little tidbit about himself. He does call the shadow back. The only thing is, uh, everyone is staring at him, and he doesn't know how to disappear in shadows. <laughs> and yeah, he doesn't have nearly enough ravens in his rookery. So yeah, he had no choice but to be really run off, be the poor girl. To recovery girl and yeah that's all she wrote <sighs> well that was quite the show don't you think yeah yeah it can't seem to be very strong and whatever but what's that crow <laughs> raven what? That was a raven, Toshinori. What's the difference? Well, for one, ravens are bigger than crows. <sighs> Whatever. A bird is a bird. Uh, I get what you're saying, but still. You gotta consider the fact that not all birds are the same. <laughs> Though, yes, they may look similar, they are two completely different species. Or at least, different kinds of birds. <sighs> There's a... Right now, I'm just worried about... <sighs> what? Too much hero work? You unused up your time ladder, huh? Ugh. Maybe a little. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure you'll find a successor soon enough. Hmm. He's looking for Doria. Seems like he would be a worthy candidate. Ugh. Yeah. But that. Cor hmm? <clears throat> I mean, Raven. Was that part of his quirk? I'm not sure. Right? I know. Seriously. He displayed strength and speed. Possibly comparable to mine. But... That Raven just... Appearing from... His shadow... Oh, you saw that too. Well, yeah. I was paying at least a little bit of attention. Hmm. Perhaps we should ask him once everything's been taken care of. Okay. Bad to Izuku Strain with Crowfather, in which he does. Just, uh, he is getting better when it comes to you like his, his new strength enhancements. He's just more or less trying to contemplate how do I get more ravens? At least to the amount that you have. You find yourself to more. What? Yes. You see that or have Shadow, as you named him, 
have offspring. What? Hmm. Shadow is a part of you now, as you are him. If anything, yes, more like having lifelong companionship. Being like an uncle or father-in-law or such. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Either way, yes. So bond yourself with more ravens and... Definitely, yes, you would have a quite impressive rookery. Huh. Okay, so that's good to know. Anything you want to see me now? Hmm. I suppose we could have you dwell. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Shadow Realm. What? The Shadow Realm. I think it'd be very helpful for you to start using it. Uh. What are you talking about? You don't know? Uh, know what? Shadow Realm, of course. No. Huh. Interesting. I thought you, your friend would have told you by now. Wait, me, Shadow? Precisely. I mean, where else would Shadow go if not there? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, well, they could be like this. It's a dangerous place <laughs> truly something you don't want to go into unprepared <laughs> don't get all right <sighs> well if anything demons like to dwell there as well as shadow workers Whoa, <laughs> I know about demons, but what are shadow lurkers, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> well, they're invisible keepers of tormented gates. Well, and they're only really visible to those who can see into the shadow realm. Gotta be kidding me. Yes. Well, that's that's good to get to know. Anything else I need to know? Well, you're gonna have to learn how to see into the shell realm, for instance. Yeah, I figured. You're right. Yeah, 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 of course. <sighs> okay. Well, uh, so they uh, keepers of tormented gates, right? Are they gonna attack me? No. 
well, they have no physical attacks. You could say they're like, uh, locked doors or whatnot. They, they're really just obstacles. Oh. If anything, I believe they can be killed. You believe? Yeah. I truly do. <sighs> they can be killed, can't they? Yes. Okay. How? Well, one of the horsemen found a way to do it. What? Yes, war, to be precise. Yeah, he used his sword, Chaos Eater. Uh, really? Yeah, very uh, helpful. Right, right. So, anything I should know about them? At least, anything else I should know? Well, they're invulnerable to normal attacks, as far as I know. What? Well, of course. Plus, like I said before, at least you can actually see into the shower realm, they are invisible towards you. Wait, so they can't see me? No, they, they can see you, you just can't see them. <sighs> great. Just great. Just wonderful. Okay, so what were these tormented gates? Hmm. Well, they are. They're also known as wardens. Huh? Yes, they're some constructs made by the makers, of course. Oh, is that all? Well, they are massive stone beings given by by heart stones. Really? Ah, uh, yes. If anything, it's quite ingenious how they utilize them. I mean, the only way I'm truly able to have this construct is because of the heart stone, which, lucky for me, was empty. What? Oh, yes, there's always a possibility of uh, there being a maker's soul in here. Uh, wait, what do you mean by that? Oh, I never told you. Told me what? Well, <sighs> let's see here. When makers die, they don't go to the real souls or anything like that. In fact, they place their souls in, well, heart stones and then uh, yeah. constructs you're serious oh yes <sighs> interesting that's very good to know oh you have no idea the wardens are very resilient. Huh? Yeah. Let's just say they were a maker's tool. What do you mean? In the end war, of course. Really? Yep. 
Let's just say you fight one of those. You better hope to whatever God you believe in that it's severely damaged beforehand. You do not want to go up against a fully capable maker construct. Though stone they are made of, still quite formidable opponents. In fact, as the stone itself they're constructed out of of, of the finest quality. Good to know. And not to mention they are giants. Huh? Oh, yes, they are quite massive in scale, of course. You really show your age with the how you just seem slightly or possibly not impressed at the things that you say. Hmm. Well, either way. Yes, the makers were truly extraordinary. Were? Well, I... If anything, I could see them possibly still being around. Just, you know, not really seen. Yeah. So, the Shadow Realm. What else can you tell me about it? Hmm. Hmm. If anything, all I can really say is you should possibly just not worry about it. Focus on being able to see the Shadow Realm, possibly through Shadow's eyes. Huh. Okay. So, how do I do that? Oh, that's quite simple. You need to focus for one. And try to uh, concentrate on your connection to Shadow. If anything, they should still be flying around just minding their own business. Huh. <sighs> Alright. So, just focus. Correct. Are you sure it's going to work? You dare tell me, boy. Now? Of all times? I'm not down you. It's just that. Just do it. As yes, it takes at least an hour before he's going to at least get any glimpses of what's going on behind Shadow's eyes in which seeing the whole Shadow realm it's very interesting for Forex Dooku something he's never seen before something that can definitely be considered hella dangerous who's not careful but wondering Huh, what was one of those ingredients we needed for your new body?